I was feeling a little weak and and I went to drink some more water. I took a five minute break and then um, I took a knee. It's one of Jesse Cadenas's scariest moments. Next thing you know, I was throwing up all over the place. I felt really weak and then I just I had to call it a day. He remembers it clearly. It happened two summers ago when he had symptoms of dehydration as he was working on the rooftop of this construction site in downtown. Today, he's on the ground and working his second summer here and says he's learned a thing or two. Uh, how to stay uh, covered up and uh, stay hydrated. I mean, um, you can't really uh, be too careful with that. He wears two shirts and says the first layer soaks up his sweat and actually helps to cool off his body. He also drinks lots of liquids. Now I mix my water with Pedialyte because water alone doesn't really do it. You know, I mean, he sweated out a lot, so you want to be able to get some electrolytes. He says his crew also takes several breaks throughout the day and starts working early in the morning to try to beat the sun. Experts say even the most experienced people can forget about how powerful the sun can be and simply push themselves too hard. Heat will impact those that are brand new to the area or even those who are super seasoned. So it's taking it seriously regardless of how long you've lived in an area. Jessica Nolte is a spokesperson for the Tucson Fire Department. She says the most important reminder for this time of year is to stay hydrated. If you want to have a little flavor in your water, say you want that, that sports drink, you cut it, thin it out, you know, make it half and half water, half Gatorade or whatever. I'm Carlos Herrera, KGUT 9 on your side. And